I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we will learn a strategy to subtract integers. So the strategy here is basically of zero principle. So the idea is that you can take away only if you have. So remember this. You can take away only if you have. So that is the base. So we have five examples. We'll do plus five minus plus four, plus five minus minus three, minus four minus plus one, and things like that. Applying this policy or principle of zero, zero principle, we'll see how to do subtraction for integers. So in the first case, let's say we have plus five. So let me use these numbers as plus numbers. We have five. And we need to take away plus four, right? So, so if I take away plus four, then this is take away, right? So what are you left with? you are left with 1 plus. So the result is 1 plus. So I could write this as just the number 1. It is not necessary to write plus for positive numbers. Plus is understood. Now let's do the next one, which is plus 5 take away minus 3. So again, let's say we have these 5 numbers with us. 1 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now we have to take away minus 3. Well, we do not have any negative number. So what should we do? What we can do here is apply zero principle. That is to say that we could add something like this, a combination of plus and minus. We need to take away three, so we'll have three negatives and three positive numbers. Where the blue numbers are negative for me. You can see that plus and minus is zero, right? So we are adding zero to it. This is zero. So this is what we are doing. We are adding zeros. So at this stage, we add three zeros. But that helps us to take away minus three. Do you see that? We have to take away minus three. So, so we could take away these. Now we can take away minus three. Once you do that, what is left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We are left with 8 positive numbers. So I'm writing positive 8 just with 8, no sign. You get the concept of zero principle, right? Let's do it once more. This time we have negative 4. So what we have here is 4 negative numbers. Right, so these are negative 4. We have to take away plus 1, but we really do not have 1. So what we are going to do? We are going to add 1, 0. 1, 0, which will have 1 negative and 1 positive. Right, 1 negative and 1 positive. Now we can take away plus 1. What are we left with? five negatives. So we'll write this as five negatives. Do you understand? Let's do one more. Minus two minus plus three. That means we have two negatives. That is minus two. We want to take away plus three. We do not have any positives. So I will add three zeros so that I could take away 
three positives, right? So these three zeros will have combination of negative and positive numbers. Three negative and three positive. But that will help us to take away three positive. We are left with one, two, three, four, five negative. Does it make sense to you? Correct? The last one. We have three negatives. So we have three negatives. One, two, three. And we have to take away two negatives. Since we have them, we can take them away. We are left with just one negative. So I hope with this, you understand the whole concept. Our strategy of adding zeros. So first step here is add zero. Now zero is a combination of positive and negative for us, right? It's a combination of positive and negative. And once you add zero, you can take away whatever you want. So the key is how many zeros to add, correct? That is the key. Once you do that, you get your result as we have done in this exercise. So I hope this strategy is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.